welcome. No sudden movements. Hold completely still. And no, this isn't a joke. If it was, I wouldn't be holding a knife to your throat again. And this isn't some kind of act either. There would be no need while we were here in our hideaway. I'm being completely serious. Let me ask you a simple question. Did you tell anyone about us? Anyone? <sighs> well, I expected you to deny it. I wish I could trust you at your word, but... If I were the type of person to do that, I'd... <laughs> I'd have been killed long ago. You see, the problem is that Edward Blancmont, the head of the family in case you'd forgotten, asked me a multitude of questions about you just an hour ago. Yes, it is unusual, because he's never asked me in such detail about my missions before. Not since I became a fully-fledged member of his family, that is. He's always trusted the details of my assignments to me. Well, obviously I told him that I was just taking my time. You're not an immediate threat, and it's normal for me to spend a long time preparing. It's not strictly a lie, and I'd rather he not know that we're romantically involved obvious reasons. I have plenty of reason to suspect that you leaked information. Not directly to the Blancmonts, of course. You wouldn't want that any more than me. But if you were naive enough to say something to your own idiot brother, he'd certainly be stupid enough to do it. I wouldn't be surprised if he sees you as a rival for your family's fortune. <clears throat> Do you deny that only three days ago you had a secret conversation with him? When you went to great lengths to avoid anyone overhearing? <laughs> Don't play coy. You're no good at it. You got in a certain carriage with him. Ostensibly for a relaxing evening ride, but the carriage took all sorts of unexpected turns and avoided areas with foot traffic. It was as if they were intentionally avoiding anyone following them. I know, because I was trying to follow. I certainly hope that doesn't come as a shock. If I in any way gave you the impression that I wasn't going to keep watch over you, then it was completely unintentional. Well, if you didn't tell him, then what did you talk about? It was clear you were trying to hide some kind of secrets. I can't decide if this is some kind of game to you, or if you've gone insane. It's a secret? You're saying you can't tell me while I'm holding a knife to your throat? I wasn't expecting you to tell me you were sharing our secrets, but I thought you'd at least try to make something up. Hmm. That... I can't deny it. That... That's very sweet. Nobody's ever told me they don't want to lie to me. 
in my line of work. <clears throat> Lies are normally a given, but my dear, this is the worst possible time for this. I really, really want to be wrong. But I need to hear something believable if I'm going to trust you again. What could possibly be so important that you can't tell me? Honestly, I think I have no choice but to believe you. <laughs> Nobody could lie about something like that with a straight face, after all. And uh, you do make a good point. I would rather you were the type of person to keep a secret, even if your life were at risk. It's a good trait, especially given our situation. I'm... I'm sorry for threatening you. You must understand, it's... It's second nature for me to doubt people. As I said before, I wouldn't have lived very long as an assassin if I didn't foster a healthy bit of paranoia. But if it's not you, then I'm not sure what to think. I can't imagine any reason why Edward would suddenly bring up these questions. It's just... What's that? I just noticed the bag you're holding. What's in it? Oh. Look at those. I thought I recognized the smell. I love those pastries. That, <laughs> that was very thoughtful. But you didn't happen to get them from the bakery across from the fountain, did you? <laughs> oh, so that's it. That explains everything. Of course, you couldn't have known. Well, I... I technically shouldn't be telling you this, but that bakery is a cover. The Blancmonts secretly own it. It's a safe house that I can use to lay low or stash supplies. They have other uses for it as well, but that's not relevant. Well, of course. Think about it. The Blancmonts assigned me to assassinate you. Then, one day, you show up at the safe house with an unusual order. That's far too many pastries for one person. There are many bakeries closer to your home, and as far as they know, you don't have anyone that you would meet in this part of town. Well, it would look to them like you're scoping out the place. They must be worried that the Norvales have caught on to the bakery's true purpose. Perhaps because... I slipped up somehow. No, it's nothing to worry about. It was astonishing enough of a coincidence to catch their attention, but they'll soon come to the conclusion that it was nothing more. The Norvales wouldn't do something as foolish as sending one of their own family members to investigate a suspected enemy safe house, after all. I wouldn't worry about it. I know how the Blanc Bonds operate. We could stand to be a little more cautious than normal for a while, but we're safe. They won't suspect anything. 
No, I don't blame you. It, <laughs> this is all my fault for not telling you about the safe house. I didn't think it was likely that you'd ever visit it, but given how close it is to our hideout, that may have been a short-sighted assumption. Oh, goodness, what a terrible twist of fate that was. You stopped by the bakery on your way here to get a gift for me, expecting me to be so pleased, and instead, I sneak in the back entrance and threaten your life. I'm truly so very sorry about that. Here, let's... Oh, well, it's just that you flinched. You're still scared of me. Hmm, I understand, but... Oh, no, I, I don't understand. This isn't even the first time I threatened you. When I say that out loud, it suddenly doesn't sound so comforting. What I mean to say is, you know who I am. I'm an assassin, and you're my target. I just don't see how you can act so surprised by this. Wait, wait, please, don't leave. I don't want to end the conversation this way. Please, listen. I acted in a perfectly logical and normal way for an assassin. Surely you would do the same thing in my position. Really? You would just trust me? Just like that? But... How can you say that? You would be a fool to trust me. I certainly don't expect you to. It's not fair to ask each other to risk everything for the other like that. <laughs> it's funny. I've heard people say that, that you need to be vulnerable in a relationship. That you have to put yourself in a position where you could be hurt in order to really love someone. I never really believed it, but... Well, the results certainly seem to speak for themselves. I thought I was making the right choice, and yet... I threatened you over nothing, and now... Things are strained between us. If I was looking in from the outside... I would definitely consider that paranoia... Not logic. <sighs> no... Not the healthy sort of paranoia, either. I, um... I can't say I understand, or even agree, but I have to admit, I'm not entirely familiar with how this works. Don't get me wrong, I've been in relationships before, in a way at least. They were fake relationships to get closer to my targets. I know how to go through the motions, but... I don't have any idea how to make it real, and that's what I want with you. So maybe I should let you take the lead on this? I've been in control of how things progressed between us the entire time up until now. But even I realize that's not how this is supposed to work. Yes, exactly. Show me how to be vulnerable. I'll do whatever you recommend. At least within reason. I do really want things to work between us. <laughs> I do like to think it's a good start, but 
I must confess that I'm not being entirely vulnerable by saying that. I am introducing a little risk by letting you control the pace from now on, but I'm still an assassin. I'm confident that I could sniff out a trap if you tried to set one for me. <laughs> yes, well, like I said, I need to learn. Baby steps, as they say. You know... Before Edward Blancmont started questioning me, I had been thinking that I wanted to ask you... Would you... Could we... No. Never mind. I realize that it's not really appropriate after... Everything that just happened. Another time. For now, I don't suppose you have an appetite. Those pastries won't eat themselves, after all. 